Hey yo fellas, how's it going? And welcome back to Bee Swarm. Fellas, we are back. It is still Beesmas Part 2, 2022, or I guess Beesmas Part 1, 2022. Last Beesmas Part 1, 2021 was actually Beesmas Part 2, 2021. But uh, let's not get into the logistics of that, alright? No one cares. It's Beesmas, fellas. That's all that needs to be said. Who cares about what part we're in? Sure, part three is rolling around the corner and probably like maybe a few weeks or a month, but like, I, I don't care, man. It's just bees, miss fellas. Hey, sup guys, it's me. This is the part of the video where I ask you to smash like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It doesn't take long at all, and it really helps me out a lot. You gotta be part of the small percentage of people who are actually subscribed. Fellas, I cannot believe it, but we reached 7k. Oh my god, that was so fast. I'm sure you can guess what I'm gonna say now. Oh boy, let's make it to 8k tomorrow, guys. Oh boy. That's definitely gonna happen. But no, seriously, man. Thank you for the support recently. My channel has been growing hella quickly, so let's just keep going. But uh, yeah, Bee Swarm. Today, we're we're covering like the, the Samovar, you know, a few Bee Bear quests. And also a little surprise later that has to do with my hive. A pretty tame episode of Bee Swarm, but trust me, the pain is gonna start ramping up very quickly. You'll see in a few episodes why. But uh, since this is a Bee Swarm episode, I'm just gonna quickly advertise my other videos. So if you want, go go check out my Five Nuts at Fongo's videos. I just released a, a new one, part 5, a few days ago, so if you want, go check that out. More banger content for you to enjoy. Possibly even better than my Beast Room videos. Crazy, I know. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna waste any more time. With that all being said, enjoy the video. But uh, yeah, welcome, welcome back. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do today. All I know is that I have Dapper Bear's quest completed, Beastmas quest. So we're gonna be turning that in. I mean, it's a new thing, so like, I feel like I should dedicate an episode to that. The only problem is, is that seriously all I'm gonna do today? I don't know. I just, I don't know, I had this thing done and I was like, why not, right? Let's just, let's just start recording, man. I, I feel like it. And you know, for all the other quests, slowly struggling along, you know, Spirit Bear, they're getting there. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy. Just a bunch of like waiting, you know, Windy Bees and Memory Match and all that. Bee Bear, I just gotta do Dapper Bear's thing, so that should also be done today. Uh, on its lid art, not really close because like I need a million puff shrooms, bunch of nectar, and you know, all, all this stuff, a million whirly gigs gotta use, brilliant. Honeybees, <laughs> we're not even gonna talk about that man, that's gonna take a while. Well actually, it's only been about like less than a day and I already have like 6,000 honey tokens. So that shouldn't be too bad, actually. I, I kind of overreacted, but still, man. This over here, 999 honeysuckles. Hold on a second. Bro, I only got like 300 of them. How am I gonna get like another 600, dude? I don't know. But that is a uh, future me's problem, all right? Well, we'll figure out what to do when we get there. And uh, gummy bear, you know, tokens for gummy bees getting along. You know, goo slowly making its way there. Uh, the actual hard part of the quest, though, not even 1% done. Oh my god, 25 rare puff shrooms in the mountaintop field. You do realize puff shrooms rarely go to the mountaintop field on it. How do you expect me to get 25 rare puff shrooms from there, man? It would be a miracle if even regular puff shrooms actually get to the mountaintop field. Oh my god. And of course, five legendary wacky puff shrooms and one level 17 plus awesome puff shroom. Ah, oh, so cool, man. Gotta love that requirement. Bro, this beesmas has just been taken over by drugs, man. It is awful. Every single NPC that decided to be problematic this year, literally, they just have stupid puff shroom requirements on their quests, just soft locking me from completing it in like a normal amount of time. Now I actually gotta like spend years doing these quests, man. Ah, oh, dear lord. I'm already tired out from these puff shrooms, dude. I've been doing them, like, so much at the start of Beesmas, trying to get as many waxes as possible. And now these NPCs come around and start waving more requirements in my face. Oh, dear god. Fellas, this Beesmas is not looking too bright. I'ma be honest. This, this is not looking good for me. I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna do, man. But I'll, I'll figure it out, man. We're probably not gonna get any of these done for a while, so... You're probably gonna start seeing like regular videos very soon. The next video I could probably guarantee you guys seeing is like maybe a bee bear video where I complete like the next quest and then we get the the cub buddy or whatever is gonna give me besides that, like the star treat or something, which isn't too exciting, but like that's literally all I have left. None of these quests I can complete anytime soon. 
Except for like maybe the audit one and like the the spirit bear one, but like that's boring, dude. It's literally like the same thing as last year. I don't I don't know, man. Maybe if anything, I'll stuff those two in the bee bear quest as well. So at least I have like you know kind of a compact video and not just a very loose video. Anyway though, let's uh let's hand in this quest to Dapper Bear. How you doing, man? Even though I only talked to you like maybe twice, I I really like this guy. Maybe it's only because I like doing the voice, you know? A lot uh, a lot of Spamton vibes coming from this man. Anyway though, here you go, man. Nice to see you didn't come back empty-handed. That's all I need to polish this up. <laughs> Mm-hmm, see, a diamond bee in the rough. I lugged this antique samovar in my carry-on on my way back from Moscow. Had to leave a few bee quests behind to make room. Worth it, though. You can use a samovar once every six hours for some nectar, honeysuckles, and other rewards. The nectar you get will always be random type, and it starts at one hour. Each time you use it over the winter event, the amount of nectar goes up by five minutes, up to four hours. As the samovar's brew gets stronger, you also get more honeysuckles. Use it enough and you might be surprised how much joy it brings you. Just don't drink it too fast. Pace yourself. Some of us something you're supposed to savor, I've heard. Oh, and if you aren't familiar with honeysuckles, honeysuckles cause half your bees to instantly convert pollen from your bag when your bag becomes full. This can help you stay in the field longer before having to return to the hive. To use them, you can toggle them on in your egg menu. I'll give you a few to try out. Well, thank you for including me in this year's Beastmas fun. I'll have more quests for you over the coming weeks. Happy honey days, stay warm out there. All right, cool, man. Oh, a swirled wax, let's go. I like this guy even more now. Thank you, my friend. Oh boy, let's go. So what do we have here? Heat up the samovar. Am I saying that right? I don't know. It sounds like a, like a Russian thing or something. But like, oh my gosh, look at this thing. It's, it's all it's all golden-like, so, so dapper. Ah, yes. Just like Dapper Bear, in a way. Well, we gotta do this if we wanna complete Bee Bear's quest, so I don't really have a choice. Here we go, let's do this. Bazinga. Um, it just peed or something. Let's, let's go, man. And we got, uh, got a few honeysuckles, three, and an oil, all right. And also an hour of comforting nectar. And I guess every single time you use it over the winter event, you get like an extra five minutes and it stacks up to a total of four hours, I guess. So once you max it out, you get like four hours of nectar every six hours, which is pretty good. Just from doing pretty much nothing, all right. Cool, 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 cool. Well then, uh, Bieber, I have a quest for you, so uh, take it, kind sir. Planters growing near an open fire. Aphids sniffing at your toes. Although it's been said many times, many ways. Merry Beastmas, going so. Bro, is this like a Chinese Christmas song or something? What, what? I don't know what song he just sang, but alrighty then. Ho ho ho, it's hard to rhyme with toes. Marvelous, I'm all warmed up now. I'm just gonna move past that toe comment. No more shivering and whining from Bee Bear. Back to the festivities. Just four more quests and I'll give you your cup, buddy. Or Star Tree if you already have one. All right, oh, a hard wax. All right, I'll take it, man. Five red balloons, cool, cool, cool. I like these waxes I'm being handed, man. Very generous. Pretty, pretty puff stream on pristine fields of snow. Watch them pop and watch them grow. Ho, 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 ho. You'll be sure to like puff shrooms. I could read their minds because I'm magic. They're all thinking the same thing. We hate compendium. Please, Bee Bear, more puff shroom quests. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I didn't say that. Or my bees didn't say that. Oh, no, 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 no. Bees, I thought we were a team. What the hell, man? Don't you know all these quests do is cause me pain? The fact that I actually have to avidly active play to get them? Literally all these requirements for puff shrooms are impossible if you AFK. So that means I gotta, I gotta actually put effort in the game, man, and that is just awful, dude. We want quests where fate is out of our hands, and RNG takes the wheel. No, 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 no. I was saying this from the start, man. No, that's bad. Stop. We're tired of grinding and ready for waiting and praying for rare puff shrooms. Well, you're in luck, little bees. For our next Beastmas festivity, we're hunting for rare puff shrooms. Oh, God, dude. I already have that enough, man. Come on, bruh. Oh, so the boring brown normal ones, but rare ones too, ho ho. I wish I could join in, but I've been banned from foraging by the game warden. My magic is an existential threat to the innumerable native species, according to the so-called government. Wait, government? We have a government in this game? Yo, hold on a second. That's actually a good idea for a new bear. Government bear, or just the president. <laughs> Could you imagine it's like Joe Biden, but a bear? Oh, dear God. I mean, I guess we already got spirit bear, you know? 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, anyways, let's look at two pilot knuckle here, fellas. Don't smash this like quite yet. If puff shoes weren't meant to be picked by a magical half bee, half bear, who could fly at over 75% the speed of light? Then the great bubble bee man wouldn't have made them so weak and slow. Ho ho. Oh god, what do we have here? Uh, polar bear feast, defeat 25, level 6. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, three rare puff shrooms. Okay, that's not as horrible as everything else I have to deal with, so... You know what, Bee Bear? You're not a wrong in quite yet, alright? Keep in mind, though, fellas, he is starting to dabble in the Ledrugas of Beesmus. But he is not quite on the problematic list yet. Unlike Stickbug and Onnit and, you know, Mother Bear, Black Bear, Gummy Bear. I know Mother Bear and Black Bear didn't have anything to do with Ledrugas this update. But still, man, they're problematic in their own ways, as proven previously. Well then, that was, that was cool and all, but what the hell do I do now? You see what I was talking about? I didn't really have a plan for what I wanted to do today. This was just kind of like a, a wing it episode where I just started recording and just hoping something would make sense. I probably won't be able to finish these quests for at least like a few days, most likely weeks, if anything. Oh god. I mean, we definitely have a lot more time to do these quests compared to last year, so that's, that's good, I guess. Actually, no, it isn't. I'd rather them take, like, a short amount of time, but be extremely difficult than them to be, like, time-consuming, but, like, have a lot of time to do them, you know? Because, like, I mean, uh, ugh, 60 days to do these. I mean, I'm sure that's enough time. I'm sure I could find legendary puff shrooms by then. But, like, man, come on, bruh. I'd rather just do, like, collect a trillion goo or something, man. Anything but that, dude. Oh, my gosh. This beesmus has just been tainted by drugs. I don't know how to feel about that, man. Well, can we buy anything? Uh, I don't know, man. Should we even buy anything? Honeysuckles, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? Just buy it, I guess. Um, can do extracts. Should I, should I get this one? I mean, sure, why not, I guess. There we go. Uh, this one is night bell, stingers, moonshrooms, glitters, exhausted bee jellies for a thousand snowflakes. I don't know about that one quite yet. Uh, this one is for pretty cheap, actually, but they are bee quips, and I don't have any storage yet. I'm only gonna buy the bee quip bundles until I get an extension to the storage slots, alright? Because, like, look how much I got in the death zone, alright? Like, even, even I have an icicle in here that's about to be trashed, and I can't really do anything about it because I literally have no space for anything else dapper bear please just give me access to buy more storage slots i don't care if they're expensive right now i just want early access to have more slots please anything well i guess i'll kill my mobs it's gonna be a while before i get a you know a bubble bee man quest that's for sure so i i don't think i i really have any problem with uh waiting on these guys i feel like it's fine to just stab them right now Plus, I get, like, a few gingerbread bears here and there. That's, that's always nice, right? Yeah, yeah, three, let's go. I would go ahead and buy the Festive Frenzy Hall pack, but, like, I'm actually still too poor to afford it. I'm, like, about maybe 500-ish bow bucks uh, too poor for it. So I gotta, I gotta get more eventually. I'm too lazy to buy more right now, though, because I gotta go through, like, the whole process of purchasing, and that's, like, eh. I don't care enough, man, right now. I don't care. I don't really need the items anyways. The main thing I'm buying it for is, like, the 25 swirled wax. And, like, the only thing I really need swirled wax for is the petal planter over here. I mean, I have enough soft waxes. I just need the swirled waxes now. But it's 5 trillion honey. And I only really want to buy it once I have, like, 15 trillion. Just so I always have enough for the, the gummy baller. Even though I doubt I'd be close to getting the gummy baller anytime soon. Since, of course, I need, like, turpentine and the caustic waxes. But I, I don't know, man. It's better to be safe than sorry. Maybe if I do somehow come across 50 swirled wax in the future, I'll just buy the petal planter for a video just straight away. And if I end up not having enough for the gummy baller, honey terms, uh, when it comes to that, then uh, you can call me stupid, all right? Fair enough. All right, how many quests are we away from uh, doing this bee bear stuff? I think we're like maybe three or four away, I think. I have no idea, honestly. How about this? I'll complete one more bee bear quest today. Probably end off the episode after that. And then next time, I guess I'll complete the final three bee bear quests uh, that are unlocked so far. And also do spirit bears and uh, bonnets quests next time as well, I guess. I don't know. 
Unless there's new content, of course, because I heard Onnit was going to start updating the game more frequently for, like, really small updates, which is something I like, actually. Even though it kind of screws me over now because I'm really behind on my upload schedule, since I thought he wasn't going to do that and I'd have a lot of time to edit, like, these other videos that are a little bit more filler. But, uh, turns out, no. But, overall, I think that's a good thing to where Onnit's just constantly updating the game, just small bits overall. I think what he plans to do next time is add like a little bit of like Dapper Bear's quest to the game. Hopefully also adding the feature to purchase more Bee Bear or not Bee Bear but like Bee Quip case slots for the storage because I really want that man. I have tickets to spend. I have 10,000 tickets. I'm ready to just burn them all in like more slots man. Any day now. But that's really cool that Honest like trying to update the game a little bit more frequently. Even though they are smaller updates. I still like that, alright? It's better than not having, like, anything for, like, a few months, alright? If he did that, like, regularly for, like, you know, normal updates, not just Beastmas, I think that would actually be really good for me, because then I'd be able to make, like, consistent Beastworm videos, but, like, also not clawed, like, a whole entire, like, part of the year to Beastmas, kind of like how I did last year, where I dedicated, like, two whole months to only Beastworm videos, which I still regret doing, because when I started making regular content, nobody watched it, just because, like, you know, everyone was used to Beastmas, Swarm and you know that wasn't Beast Swarm, so it was like, eh, what is this trash? But like, if on it actually made like consistent tiny updates, that would be really good because then I'd be able to focus on like you know variety, but also a little bit of Beast Swarm here and there whenever the game decided to update, and I'd have maybe like three or four videos of content in the span of like maybe like a month or two, that would be awesome. But unfortunately, it probably won't be like that once Beastmas is over. I think Onish is just trying to do that for the Dapper Bear questline, and then he's gonna probably stop, most likely. I heard that his plans are gonna be yearly updates, so <laughs> looks like that's not gonna be happening. But uh, you know, a man can dream, all right? That's my ideal Beastworm timeline, all right, when it comes to updates. Just like an update every like maybe two to three months, but it's like smaller content updates compared to the ones we get like yearly. I don't know, man. Whatever Onnit wants to do, I'll be along for the ride, no matter what. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys once we're done with this uh, Bieber quest, and we'll go, we'll go turn it in. And I'll probably end off the episode there, unless something weird happens. And I don't know. I'll do that, I guess, but probably not. All right, fellas, we have about uh, five minutes before this thing refreshes, so uh, I wanted to do something before that. I actually figured out what I could do today that's actually a little bit interesting. Guys, I want to get different bees today, fellas. I've been doing a little bit of research, all right, when it comes to, like, what bees I want. And, uh, turns out, according to even Onnit himself, white players have been- have been flawed in their ways. They're stupid. They're stupid people. Because apparently, they weren't seeing how amazing Precise Bee was, and they weren't, like, using it to its full potential, apparently. And I'm not gonna be one of those people, alright? I'm gonna get some Precise Bees. It's even from Onnit himself, like, actually, on the screen, right there. He says it himself, the king of Bee Swarm Simulator, our lord and savior, Jesus Onnit Man. So, yeah, apparently Precise Bee's, uh, kind of important for White Hive now, or something like that. At least having, like, a little bit of super crit, I believe, so... Hey, at least we can finally put a use to that, uh, Precise Bee egg over here. Now, I have a basic idea of what I want to get rid of so far. I want, like, three Precise Bees, by the way. I heard that the good number is either three or four. Four is probably the best, but I'm not really at a position to, like, kind of wager what bees I really want. I'm- I'm kind of cluttered when it comes to, like, my search in bees. Just just cause like, I'm a white hive, right? But I'm also like a little bit of hybrid, just, just like a tad bit, like a pinch of hybrid. Just cause in a white hive, you don't need vicious bee. And there's also a few other changes I could have made to make my hive completely white. But I feel like going to like one exact color and not being able to do anything else is a little bland, I'ma be honest. It's already enough that, like, I don't have a few certain bees that, like, do a few wacky things, but, you know, since I'm a white hive, I can't have them. But, like, you really want to get rid of my attack bee in the game? Really, man? Like, literally doing everything in the game is gonna suck without Vicious Bee, dude. Like, Stump Snail's gonna be slower, Stick Bug's gonna suck even more. Coconut Crab, you're not gonna get a good score in years, man. It's just like, no, no, man. I'm not gonna dedicate myself 100% to a White Hive, right? But I believe I can get rid of maybe one or two Fuzzy Bees, I believe. Apparently, the number you want is like maybe three to four or something like that. I don't really know. But I think five is a little bit too much. So we'll get rid of one Fuzzy Bee, all right? Transform Fuzzy Bee. Yes, sir. There we go for a precise bee. So that's the egg right there. 
Now that I realize it, I probably could have done like a weird wacky donation to the wind shrine just to see what it gives. Just cause like I could probably get a precise bee with like just royal jellies if I wanted to, but it's kind of too late for that now. Maybe it won't give anything good, who knows. Hmm, let's see, what else could I get rid of? I think I want to keep four fuzzy bees for now at least, until I get like an exact answer if having four fuzzy bees is better than having three, because I really like the pollination, alright? I like my fields being in tip-top shape just because I play completely by myself, so I can't really rely on other people to pollinate the fields for me. If I did have like a friend who was like super cracked in bee swarm just like me, and we you know both grinded together, then I would probably get rid of maybe like one or two fuzzy bees. But, uh, as you can see, no one's here, and no one will probably be here. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one, man. Okay, wait a minute. Actually, I'm looking at a video, and apparently someone with the best white hive only has two fuzzies in their hive. So, like, it's not even three or four, it's, it's two, apparently. Now, that seems a bit sketchy, because, like, really, two fuzzy bees? I thought having five wasn't enough, but, like, two? Two, man? Really? I, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that one. All I know, though, is that I guess I can go without having one. Uh, which one should I get rid of? I mean, this one is, like... This one's B ability rate, which is really good, but these ones are in in nice formations. Uh, which one is more important, actually making money or just making it look pretty? Oh, I don't know. You know what? No, don't get tempted, Gumpendium. Just see which one's the worst out of all of these. Uh, gather amount. Uh, which one is worse, percent or actually like pluses? Um, so that one's really good. Um, okay, adding on to it is just worse, so we're gonna get rid of this one. And hopefully we get a precise bee, hopefully. I'm pretty sure there's no point in having another buoyant bee. Apparently it just harms a white hive instead because like, the balloons clutter up fields when you're trying to do like star saw and it like screws you up or something like that. I don't really know the logistics. All I know is that having one is good enough. You could also go with having none of them, but just having the extra capacity is kind of nice, so, you know, it's kind of just up to you. I know this is all boring, and, like, when I was making my best of Gumpendium video, I noticed, like, a few of my videos were just me talking about, like, bees and stuff, and, like, oh, the logistics, and I was like, bruh, just shut up, dude, and get to the funny. Do, do something funny, funny man. I'm sorry, man, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for you guys, alright? If this was, like, just funny man doing funny things, this video would be, like, two minutes long, alright? But the logistics, I'm, I'm trying to add a little bit of logistics, alright, but also sprinkle in a couple of funnies here and there. That's how I like doing Bee Swarm videos. You gotta sit through some of these logistic moments, alright? Anyway, though, please, gimme. That is not a precise speed. That is the worst one, actually. Please? You, okay, man. Hey, hey, pal. Hey, listen here. Man, I love Fuzzy Bee and all, but this is not the one. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I got like four Fuzzy Bees in a row. What the hell, man? That's good statistics for 50,000 Royal Jellies. Like five or four Mythic Bees. That's good. But also, screw you, man. What the hell? Oh my god, dude. Okay, wow. Which one am I buying? How about this? Another another 50,000 Royal Jellies, alright? Please, man. Please, just one more precise bee. That is all I ask for. Just one more. Please and thank you. Oh no! Oh, that is awful, man. Rancid, rancid statistics right there, man. Do I seriously have to do my gamer tactic and like do until legendary? Cause like eventually you get a mythic and like slightly better chances, I'm pretty sure. Which I mean, I have no idea if that's true or not, but like, ah, oh my god, man. Okay, all right, we're getting a precise speed, fellas, whether you like it or not. So give it to me. This might take a while, by the way, but it's gonna be worth it, all right? It just saves me money, cause I, I have a weird wacky feeling it's gonna be like, oh, 50,000 again, you got your lucky that first time, but to these other times, no, 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 not this time. You're gonna have to go through a couple hundred billion real jetties worth of pain before we give you anything anymore, man. Alright, well, I'll see you in a second once this thing decides to turn into a mythic. Hopefully, Precise B. Oh yeah, really quickly before I go, um, if you want to know the exact reason why Precise B is, like, needed or, like, more of them, it's just because having only one doesn't really do you well when it comes to stacking super crits. Like, I've tried it, and it's very difficult. Like, even though I collect the tokens and, like, actually hit the super crits every single time, sometimes it just doesn't spawn a token in the span of, like, the entire minute. 
that like the ability is going off so what ends up happening is it just runs out and then it spawns the token and that's like really annoying so hopefully having three will make it so that would never happen all right you're gonna at least keep activating it over and over again constantly refreshing the ability until you reach 10 times and then boom you're all powerful and that should hopefully help with a bunch of attacking you know like snow bear and stick bug and all that and just like farming better because of course you actually hit super crits all right we got a mythic but it's another fuzzy bee dude please anything anything else. give me another tadpole bee for crying out loud i don't care just show me that another bee exists now my god that was only 5,000 royal jellies though, so I feel like this tactic is working, even though I did just spend like 50,000 royal jellies and didn't get anything, so technically my statistics still suck, but no, we're gonna get three mythic bees before I go below 35,000, alright? I can almost guarantee it. Can I just do this while I go claim the, like, other stuff over here? I gotta, I gotta get the Beesmas Feast, I think. That's ready by now, probably, right? I've done a lot of rambling. Yes, sir. Yes, siree. Alright, cool. There we go. We did it. Can we go and claim Bee Bear's quest while doing this as well? It kind of obscure, like, the entire quest line, but, like, it'd be funny. Alright, you know what? These guys can wait for a little bit. Hello, Bee Bear. How's it going, man? Jovially done, little ones. That Puffstream Slaughter was magically morbid. And that enthusiasm with which you purchased my generous deals. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's enough to bring a Bee Bear pure beastmas bliss. I knew you would be worthy, little helper. But I didn't realize just how worthy you would be. You're so smart, you even noticed that one Puffstream spawns on a random floor flower field twice an hour once at 15 minutes past and another at 45 minutes past the hour oh so true you use your elf-like helper magic to intuit that important fact all on your own now that's what i call merry old-fashioned holly golly jolly folly lolly dolly magic now go use that magic to deliver this present just three more quests and i'll give you your cup buddy i'll start right if you already got one all right cool man we got another present i guess that's good I don't know who I'm gonna give it to, uh, can I give it to any of the new characters? I don't think so. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll do that next time. I don't really feel like we have much to do next episode anyways. Every cub buddy deserves a true blue beekeeper to lead them down the path to a life full of honey. That's why I just can't hand one over. Oh no, oh no, no, no. We've got to run you through the ringer to prove that you're a true Jolly Jack. What's a Jolly Jack? You'd know if only you were jolly enough to own a cub buddy. Bro, I literally do, man. I am a Jolly Jack, man. Whatever that means. There's still time to prove yourself, to me at least. Fessa B says she's seen enough. Let's move on to another beekeeper. Someone a little bit faster, a little bit merrier, a little bit fresher. I said, now wait a minute, this beekeeper's done a decent job. She said, decent doesn't make 7.9 billion presents in time for bees each year. We need extraordinary beekeepers. Companies deserve extraordinary beekeepers. And she's right, so you've got just three more quests to prove yourself. Get yourself in good favor with Festive. Or your cub buddy, or Sartre, will have to wait for next year. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho ho, pressure's on! Okay, man, gotcha. What do you got here, man? Bubbles, comforting nectar, man, refreshing nectar, man, blueberry tokens, man, sunflowers, man, use three blue extracts, man. I think this is snowflakes, not sunflowers, but anyways, that's easy, actually. What? It's just nectar, if anything, that's gonna take the longest. Alright. Run it back, run it back. That's actually not half bad for the third to last one for a cub buddy, okay. I thought you said you were gonna ramp it up, man. This is just getting easier. I'd rather just, like, collect tokens than have to deal with, like, you know, waiting a bunch. Those E quests, you know, the whole quest of E, basically B bears quest line. That part is kind of annoying, man, where I gotta wait, but like, you know, if I just gotta collect stuff, fine then, be like that. I can, I can actually handle it. Really quickly though, let's, uh, let's make the precise be gifted. Until gifted, please, don't screw up. Well, feeding until gifted is not guaranteed to work and may use all your treats. Continue. I think that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, use, oh, 33, that's actually really good. Wait a minute. I thought he used like 100, but no, that was only 33, dude. Let's go. My statistics are actually looking not half bad right now. You know, let's not sour the moment. Go, 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 go. Give me, give me, give me. Precise me, please. Well, I got a tadpole bee. I was kind of kidding about that one, man. I, I'm gonna be honest. Please, lit it. Oh my god, dude. Do I seriously? Is this even worth it, man? I mean, sure, I'm saving money, kind of. I got two mythic bees in this. Ooh, wait a minute. 
baby B up there or baby B you know what yeah run it back get me down there okay <laughs> that's better actually once again I feel like it's smarter to have the crappier bees at the top of the hive or at least bees that like suck at converting just so like the ones that are actually good at converting you have all the way at the bottom so they like you know the distance between you and the top is less you know it's it's angles man angles and distance calculate it it's better I'm sure I'm smart at math, fellas. You gotta take that as facts. Alright, honestly, I, I can't be bothered. I'm a trillionaire, dude. What am I doing? I'm rich. I forgot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm a rich man with no plan. I don't care about saving money. You think I care? I don't care, man. And that's why I don't care. Right there. Oh, let's go, baby. That's class. That's class right there. Pip pop cheerio. A up precise B. Welcome to my hive. I hope you enjoy your stay. You're about to become gifted in a few seconds, my friend, with these aged stale treats that you're going to hate, but you'll work on your body and turn you pretty colors. Oh boy. Eleven. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Ah, it feels good to be so rich and poggers. Ah, my luck is amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, 11 gingerbread bears. Yeah, that happens, man. Yeah. Oh, let's go, baby. Ginger bears are so puggers, man. Uh, let's actually go. Hey, you know what? Just because you're probably going to make a nice stay at my hive, I'll, I'll give you a mutation. How about that? Uh, oh, 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 boy. Oh, my luck is insane right now, man. I'm dream. I'm dream. One out of seven trillion, baby. It don't happen to no one but the best. And that is me. I'm dream. I look at the poor people and I go, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, not today. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, let's actually go, baby. What are the chances of that, man? Attack, I'll take it. That is also very good, dude. Oh, let's go, baby. Buggers! Free buggers right there, man! Let's go! Alright, I think that's gonna be my hive for now then, fellas. If you want, you can kind of take a look at the bees I have. I don't know if- I mean, you could just look at the hive I currently have. But, you know, in case you want a close-up view of exactly what I have. Here you go, man. Here you go. Nice little view. There you go, man. Alright. There may be a chance that I'll make some tweaks here and there, perhaps. I don't really know, though. I'm debating whether to get rid of my demo bee. I heard that you don't actually need it for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, maybe just cause it's like not good enough to be put in a white hive. Even if it does like enhance the gummy star, like maybe it's just not worth it. And you'd just be better off having like another vector or something or like a different type of bee, I don't know. But yeah, this is my hive so far. I, I hope this does me well. Using the secret wacky knowledge from on it about having more than one precise bee or just using precise bees more in a white hive. It also means I'll be able to stack super crit a lot more often, which means it'll be easier to like just farm in general. And also like actually attacking and like doing snow bears should probably be a lot easier. I really want to test out if I can actually do a level 20 20, if possible because I know last year I did that whole like gummy bee strategy which is something I definitely want to try this year again but this time with super crit you know that might actually work perhaps my scuff strategies might actually pop off this time who knows I was close last time so I might be able to get it this time I don't know plus my bees are high level this year oh boy but yeah anyways fellas I think that's gonna be it for today next episode I guess we'll turn in spirit bear and on its quest for beesmas also, we'll complete a Bee Bear's current Beesmas questline, at least for now, for the Cub Buddy or Star Treat. And we'll probably hand in like a present or two to uh, some, some dudes around the mountain, most likely. A pretty tame episode of Bee Swarm. But uh, yeah, anyways, fellas, thank you for watching. Smash like, subscribe, notifications, do it. Or else, uh, what was even the focus of today's episode? Wait a minute, I'm blanking out. Uh, wait, Dapper Bear, yeah, that, that guy, that fella. Do it or else Dapper Bear will dap you up. In the bad way. And no one wants that. But uh, yeah, anyways, fellas, I'ma head out. Thank you for watching. Bye bye, gamers.